I'm here with four kings. Good to be the king. I had an idea that would appeal to the youth of America and put butts in the seats. <laughs> this Mount Rushmore of acting, reading some of the biggest pop songs of today. But there's one song that no one knows. What does the fox say? A ring-a-ding-ding. My name is Poppy Charles, and I'm the PR marketing manager here at Huntsman. Where does Austin Powers get his fancy clothes? I don't know, but okay. not Huntsman. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, for most people visiting the shop when you come in, it's how you imagine Savile Row would be. Is it true that some of the suits here cost as much as one million dollars? <laughs> Yet again, I squandered a great opportunity. Also, I was pulled aside and politely asked not to make any more Austin Powers references. I think I've dealt a serious blow to U.S.-British relations. Ooh, this award is hot and steamy. It's the, they're doing it, right? Award. This goes to the couple who is doing it, right? And the winner, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. <laughs> The award aside, I mean, those two, like, s stuff went down. They're doing it. I don't know if they're currently doing it, but they did it. Oh, and for those of you who might be confused, by doing it, I'm talking about sex. What is, what is TSSF? It's a band, bro. Okay. Um, you know, I'm old enough to be your dad, so maybe don't call me bro, all right? Father. Better. That's what I wish my stepson would call me. Today, everyone's a buzz over the ESESL, the Extremely Stupid Extreme Sports Fails League. All you need are blades, a board, a bounce pad, a bike, and a bad idea. Would each of you please uh, wax, wax you? me? Yes. Yes. Put it up on my knee here. Oh, and rip it off. God. Are you ready? Yeah. How do you go about developing the physical appearance of a character in any role that you take on? I think the physicality of a character is extremely important. It wasn't so much a matter of a, you know, very lean six-pack kind of shape like Superman was, because there's, there's no shirtless aspect to this. Right. But I had to look like I was the hammer for the CIA. Yeah. So uh, you didn't have to do as many sit-ups for this role? No. No. I didn't have to do many sit-ups for this role. Who's that? That's the cookie monster. Right, and he likes to eat sushi. Sushi. What's the most cookies you ever ate at once? Um, chocolate chip. Okay, that wasn't really the question. Hey Jan, don't talk too loud. Your mom might be upstairs sleeping because she lives with her parents. Sick burn. Hal, you live with your parents. So, thought we're talking about her. Like, my mom and I are like friends. What is a wormhole? A wormhole is, very simply put, like a, like a subway tunnel in a way. It, it's a way of getting from one part of the universe, one part of space and time, mm -hmm. to another part of space-time. And you described it as a subway. Is it anything like a subway sandwich shop? I've never actually eaten a Subway sandwich. So, okay, this is too uh, ridiculous, to Stephen. Continue. You have to I, I can't believe everyone's eaten a Subway sandwich. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I have. That's more ridiculous than any of the science in the movie that you've never <laughs> eaten a, a Subway sandwich. There's a lot of great sandwiches out there, right? There's a lot of I'm not saying it's the best, but it, sometimes you're in a hurry and you gotta have Subway. Mabel goes up for the candle blow. She puckers. Holy molars! Mabel's false teeth fall out, has me floored. And that is why, Mabel Creekwagon, you are going to the Hall of Lame. Mabel couldn't be here to accept the award, but she did send this on her behalf. And if you were here, Mabel, this is what would have been in store for you. Oh my god. Oh, Mabel, you can do better than this. Could have been us, but you playing. <laughs>